Today I will show you how to make this crazy block dissolve effect. Yo, it's Bobikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here we have a clip of Che from his like pretty old music video, so I don't really even remember the name. But anyways, we can go and start making the effect. So what you can do is, you see, we have this longer clip, so we can take it and put it on top of the second clip. I have even named these, like, clip and second clip. What we can do here, when we have put up the first clip, is we can press Ctrl Shift D to cut the clip so we can have it on top of the other clip. And here we can add an effect called Block Dissolve. Now, this effect might not be that obvious to make, because if you just make the transition completion, like, high, it would just look like this, and it will look kind actually cool that might be another tutorial for another day but what i like to do here is not do that i like to turn off the soft edges and also i like to make the block width somewhere from 8 to 12 so i like to make it to 10 because you know that's you know yeah like a good number and honestly that will also start to look really cool and you can use this just like this but i also like to make the block height to 10 and i would definitely not recommend to turn on the feather higher because it will just look kind of like you know, blurry. And here at the start of the transition, we can make the block transition completion to zero and we can go next frame forward or actually, no, you know what? No, nah, let's make it at the start to 23 and let's go to the ending. And at the ending, I like to make it around to like 87. I don't like to make it to 100 and I don't like to start from zero. Yeah, yeah. And this will look like this. It will be a crazy plug to solve transition. And yeah, just look at that. Looks really cool. Oh yeah, here I have a bonuses. I will show you like how I use this effect in different ways. So yeah. Those are really cool. So I'll show you in a moment, in a moment. But you can also use it on top of your only clip. So for example, let's just say we have this clip and we want to use it on this clip just specifically, not as a transition. Well, we can press Control D to duplicate the clip and we can actually get like the last frames of this clip by just bringing the clip and pressing Control Shift D to cut it. And here we can add block to solve and, you know, do every settings as we did, you know, 10 here, 10 here, and also turn off the soft edges. And at the start, we can make the transition completion like maybe, I don't know, like 73 and it can look like this this it can look really cool like that and you can make the transition completion like 73 here but at the ending here we can make it to maybe like 10. But yeah it will look like that it just looks really really cool in my opinion so yeah uh, yeah you can use it like this there's plenty of ways to use it honestly oh yeah and before we get to the like the little bonus i also want to show you one little thing i've been working on which has been okay it's not actually a little thing it's been a huge passion of mine like a huge passion project for this whole summer it's my glitch presets pack but i still haven't finished it by the way i just wanted to show you the progression i've done and i have started to make these long glitch effects i don't know if i'll have many of them but just look how crazy this will look i just really wanted to show y'all it will actually look crazy in my opinion i've been loving working on these glitch effects and yeah i also want to ask y'all how should i even name this effect i just named it long glitch but i don't know how to name it so yeah i'm thinking of releasing it in about a month definitely probably next month's ending so yeah let me know if you're excited for this but anyways let's get back to the video guys okay so yeah well you can you know if the pack comes out you can do this kind of stuff but here let's go back to the bonuses i'm gonna go to this bonus composition here i've made a bit of a mess but let's just figure out what the mess is so here i just have like this clip of Che and I put a random clip of a tree, literally a tree. Look, before the block completion, it just is a tree, literally. Look, just a tree. And if you turn on block dissolve, and here I make the transition completion to 20, and at the end I made it to 85, it will look just crazy like this. Like these are all totally random clips, but it just looks crazy. So you can use this effect in the randomest clips you can possibly imagine. It really works well as a like a filler point for your video or a transition point of your video. So just look at this. Like it's a perfect transition, and it doesn't make sense like what happened there you know so yeah this is another transition between che clip and well you guessed it another J clip of him just going out of a car and all i did here look what clip i used here i literally used the same clip but i just dragged it a little bit further and it got to this transition also, what I did here was I used a chain clip, literally the same chain clip, but just a couple of frames further, as I showed you at the start. Yeah, I really recommend to mess around a lot of this log dissolve effect. I really love it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the story. I've been loving this effect a lot, and I've seen it in a lot of music videos. But anyways, guys, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.